June 3rd, 2022, I made my way back to AEW, and this dude is way too happy to see Tony Storm. After an amazing time at Dynamite on Wednesday, I decided to make my way out to Ontario to catch their second show. And here's proof. Yep, that idiot is me. And look, there's Chris Van Vliet making his way through the crowd. I was going to greet him with the DDT, but I was asked by security to please don't. The show got off to a great start. Oh my God, is that Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy sitting right next to me? It was a little bit of a homecoming for the Young Bucks. The Rancho Cucamonga natives put on a hell of a match with the Lucha Bros. Duh. But there was a lot about tonight that reminded me of how much I missed attending live events, especially the ones where I'm not on the clock. The past two nights, I just got to relax, yell out some nonsense, and make some new friends. Except for this guy. This guy kept telling us to sit down. Number one, I don't see you telling Luchasaurus to sit down. And two, I did not get these seats to sit the fuck down. Chill, bro. It's the first time I'm this close. Especially for a great show like this. And just the end of the match, something spectacular. And this adorable sign by a young girl right behind me. Ah, well, it was fun while it lasted, guys. Have a good night. The rest of the night had some great matches. There was one moment that did make the crowd get a little uneasy. Sam Punk had tweeted out earlier in the day that he had to make an important announcement about the AEW title and his career. He explained that he was going to have to take some time off for surgery, but that he would come back. I snagged this shot. I just liked the story it was telling. And I got to tell you, we'll be among the first to welcome him back so that he can show us. Godspeed to you, Phil. Scorpio Sky made his way out in a great match as well. And fun fact about Scorpio Sky, he actually fought an MMA match against one of my good friends. So there were a couple times, I think I yelled out something to the effect of, you don't check your kick still? Just kidding, he's great. But not only did we sing, we learned an important lesson, which is if the crowd yells out, <laughs> you give them sexy Jesus. Don't fight it. And here's some good news. Daniel Garcia found time to get in his first climber steps. But in all seriousness, not only did this man wrestle an entire match in a Kangol hat, hilarious, but the dude capped off an epic week here in LA, main eventing dynamite and hitting the best finishing move of all time, this epic sharpshooter. And of course, throughout the night, you got to see stars that were local to Los Angeles, huge stars like Darby Allen, just captivating the crowd with his presence and even stars from yesteryear apparently because this dude was being called Hacksaw Jim Duggan and was not enjoying it. Oh well, need of the face. Tonight, Mark Quinn begged the question, what if Will Ferrell's character from Zoolander and Michael Jackson's thriller jacket made a baby? Elsewhere, we also got a nod to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, though not the slapping kind, the Jazzy Jeff getting thrown by Uncle Phil kind. I want you to pay attention to this set. The setup is great. The execution is great. Everything works just great. However, wait for it. Pin. Let's zoom in. This, my friends, is commitment. Wonderfully played, sir. Wonderfully played. And then, like two latchkey kids waiting for their ride, your moment of zen. This man with the dog t-shirt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> man. Very nice, very evil, very funny. Of course, the night comes to an end. You take appreciation for a wonderful week of shows here. You walk outside, you see the truck, you get excited to see the stars. Look at that, John Moxley, and then, oh, mm, yeah, well, this is awkward. Anyway. My thanks to everybody at AEW for putting on a great show. And my thanks to these great people of Ontario. You guys made it fun. Until the next time.